We must have a very strong public policy message to the children who have a fundamental expectation to be safe, to their parents, to their loved ones, to the staff, that we support safe schools. Schools are drug-free zones. That's nonpartisan. They're not to be violence, though what about all the emotional violence that happens? We've been very clear on expectations for safe schools, but the bullying problem continues. A loss of life, and it can, it'll happen again. And it's not just the students, the parents are the victims, the grandparents, the aunts and the uncles, the neighbors. And it's those people that have lived with it throughout their life. And I've heard from hundreds of people in my district, including public officials. This has nothing to do with partisan politics, or it shouldn't be. We have passed this at least twice on a bipartisan manner. And I was so disappointed on the recent vote and as Senator Dibble and others said before, this is going to be back and it will pass. This is 2011, for God's sake. Interestingly, next Tuesday, we have a bill in the Senate Education Committee. I just saw it, and I believe it's for the mandatory report, reporting of mistreatment, maltreatment of minors. Right. What about this? So there's been a lot of discussion and the rollout of bills that have passed about no more mandates, let's reduce them and local control. But next week, and I believe the senator that is authoring this has said let's talk about mandatory reporting. And there's a very sad story behind that and a need and I will support that. But what about this bill? Let's make this a part of it and not hide behind the fact that it's a mandate or that it's not a problem. It is a problem. And I thank those families that have been here to share their stories and that tens of thousands of Minnesotans are victims and their families. And we need to get the job done this session. And we will.